Stefan and, and Freddie are undergraduates at the moment, so they're uh, yeah, doing very well to get this far in, in, with an idea. Um, and uh, yeah, most are postgrads and uh, a little bit of experience. So, uh, and there's Mara, who was also just graduated. So, uh, I put Stefan in touch with Mara uh, because their exhibits have some resonance and, and similarities, and it may be they could collaborate later on creating uh, art pieces as well. Okay, Stefan, I think I think we'll go and see you introduce. Yeah. So, hello. I'm Stefan Sa, as you heard, an undergraduate, uh, second year student of design engineering at Imperial College London. Um, I apologize, I've, I've, I've lost my voice a little. Uh, so, and today I'm presenting to you our idea concept proposal for kinetic solar window blinds, uh, which was designed by me and my uh, classmate, Freddie Nicholson. Um, and to start, because Obviously, I've lost my voice. I would like to show you a, a brief a video explaining the whole thing, uh, and then maybe I can explain a, a few other things for you. Hello, I'm Stefan. And I'm Freddie. And today, we're going to be showing you our design concept for the Kinetic Design Competition about kinetic solar window blinds. The first step, we've got to see some research. You're absolutely right. I'll pop by Estonia quickly for that. See you in a bit. I think I'm here now. Let's go observe the city. As we just saw, most of the windows are covered in blinds or tinted glass to prevent the windows from overheating on a sunny day. These technologies are boring, ugly and inefficient, blocking us from the free energy and money raining up down on us from the sun. The demand for renewable energy is increasing every year. Renewable energy resources make up only about 30 to 35% of the energy production, for example, in Estonia or UK. Our mission is to accelerate the production of renewable energy with an elegant design that transforms static everyday objects like window blinds into dynamic energy efficient systems. Let's go design. Our consumer targeted kinetic solar blinds are inspired by the Venetian blinds. The DC motors control the lines going up and down and the tilt of the slats is controlled by a servo motor. Our original solar tile lines are inspired by Daniel Rosen's mechanical mirrors and designed for industrial clients with large buildings with big window surfaces. Here's how they work. The tiles form a matrix where each tile is a solar panel that can be tilted in all directions. This sketch here showcases a singular tile. The tiles would be connected in columns on a rod that rotates each column left and right around the vertical axis with a singular servo motor. Each tile can be moved around the horizontal axis with an individual servo motor of its own. All of this allows us to maximize the energy efficiency of our solar panels whilst also creating a mesmerizing dynamic show. We calculated the energy production of our solar blinds covering an area of 450 square meters to be 43,000 kilowatt hours per year. Also, each of these tiles is colored white on the backside, which allows us to display pixelated messages or art on large buildings. Let's see how it looks in real life. But for that, we need to go back to Freddy in London. Hi, Stefan. Hi, Freddy. How was it? Oh, it was rough. What now? Oh, look at this. This is great. Oh, that looks great, Stefan. Yes, thanks and we're very much looking forward to further developing our concept. Well, with that, I think we have to call it a day. But for now, good night. Yeah, so as you saw, and as you might know now, I'm from Estonia originally. Um, so the pro only problem is we, we don't have a lot of sun there. So uh, this product is obviously tailored more to countries closer to the equator, where you have more sun, which makes sense. Um, but the key focus for our project was really to design something that embodies uh, enhancing just the everyday experience when you're walking around the city, whilst also contributing positively to the environment. And because we are still design engineers, we had to have that um, functionality 
and a technological value in it, which would be uh, renewable energy production. Um, so we had two designs. Uh, in the video, the Venetian blinds were more tailored to uh, just regular consumers. So you'd have these window blinds up on, uh, up on your windows, and they would be just slats that you, you could tilt. And this tilt would, uh, so you could create a nice little uh, mesmerizing light show uh, with just tilting the slats. Uh, of the Venetian blinds, but this is what we, uh, 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 this was the more uh, novel bit of our, our idea. So this is more focused on larger buildings and, and businesses. Uh, so each panel has a flippable element, like was explained, and here's a little hello message displayed to you, uh, just like it would be on, on the street. Um, and this would be, we thought, this would be perfect for businesses to advertise, uh, stuff or just for aesthetic beauty uh, in the streets because as you saw in the video I was going around my hometown just massive building blocks with just black edges nothing to really see there nothing fun there uh, and we just wanted to really liven up your everyday walk around the city um, so I think I briefly explained it in the video but uh, <laughs> Uh, this will be a more detailed explanation. So we control the tilts uh, for each individual tile. We will control the, I'd say, the vertical tilt of the uh, tile. But for more energy efficiency, we thought it's pointless to have two servo motors on each tile because there's going to be a lot of tiles. So we thought we might control a whole column by just one uh, motor because our kind of objective with this is to also maximize the capture of solar energy. And as you might know, the tilt of the solar panel is crucial to this. So the higher the angle, the more energy we get out of it, and we really wanted to maximize that whilst also giving that a kinetic display. Um, and yet, uh, we would obviously use uh, also machine learning algorithms because people still want light in their rooms. They don't want to just cover it and just get energy out of it because what will they do? They'll just turn on their light bulbs and <laughs> use the same energy. That wouldn't be too smart. But people still have a preference in terms of how much light they like in their room. Uh, I don't know how much this applies to London. Uh, as we can see, not a lot of sun here, but uh, definitely warmer countries. Uh, and in the summer especially, I, I use my blinds all the time to limit the sun that's coming in. And the machine learning algorithm would just kind of detect how much light you want in. And all the rest of the light that you're blocking will not just be wasted, it'll be generated into energy. Um, yeah, so like the example was a 450 square meter uh, covered area of our window blinds would actually generate a huge amount of energy. When we first did this back of the envelope calculation, we were baffled ourselves, but we just made sure, and, and this is all considering London. But also, when you think 450 square meters is quite a large area, and if you have the, cap the capabilities to maximize the efficiency every time, then that, that's just the number that comes to. Well, I don't know how much this number tells you, but the practical impact of this is that it could actually power 16 households in the UK annually. But we do have to take into account that a lot of houses also use gas, uh, so this is only for the electricity. But still, 16 houses to be supplied with energy. We could help the community, we could liven up the streets, and I feel like this, this could be a very impactful project if it was brought to light. Um, our design inspiration, our huge inspiration was Daniel Rosen, who's an American-Israeli artist and their mechanical mirrors, which almost work on the same concept, except Daniel Rosen it did have uh, two servo motors per tile, I believe. But what he did is quite magical and quite inspirational, is uh, he created a mirror from light, from the light deflecting at different angles. So as you can see, these are all tiles, but you can still see an image displayed on the, on the board, which actually reflects exactly what the human is doing. And we felt like this could be a feature 
of, of our product if it was released on the streets. You could go and play in the mirror. And, and this would all be powered by the solar energy produced by the product itself. Um, and obviously, we wanted to give the user, the owner, whoever, to control this system uh, in a convenient way and to have it have multiple implications. So it wouldn't be just messages or advertisement. It could also be a pre-programmed, a beautiful a light show either for the inside of the rooms, which would, the windows are covering through shadows, or the outside of the room, which would be the reflecting uh, tiles themselves and the tilt of the tiles that would be different. Uh, this app would obviously house the machine learning system that would accommodate for um, the regular consumer's needs, uh, especially in terms of light. Um, and yeah. I definitely have an app with it, like a classic engineer move, I'd say. Uh, so we, di we didn't have enough time to actually build a working prototype. Um, so we, we, pre we 3D printed a little model of what it's supposed to look like. Um, at first, it might seem uh, a bit jarring. I do want this on your window, but this would be um, Obviously, this would look a little bit different, but uh, this is roughly what would cover our window, because the tiles would be obviously covering most of the area when they're closed. Uh, this is at a tilted angle, and uh, as you saw in the previous slides, we really got the like the messages are quite readable, and you could have nice pictures. The more tiles you have, the more dense they are. This is only uh, a six by five, I believe. So this is quite a small area. Each tile would be about five times five centimeters. So it would be kind of, uh, this whole model would be uh, two tiles large. But I could just uh, imagine the, the real life implication of this. Instead of classical billboards, we're just displaying messages. I think this would really um, liven up the, the city. And if anyone wants to explore them in real life and walk around, you can scan this QR code. This is also on the poster for us. Uh, and you can get an AR model. It'll open up a website, and there you can see the AR model in real life. So you could actually have th this same model in, in the room with you, and you could walk around it, inspect it from different angles. Um, so yeah, go ahead, explore. But uh, that's it for me. Thank you for listening. I think the opportunity for uh, signage, you know, and, and beautiful displays is there. And, and it may be that solar power is not there at night, and it could be actually used more uh, as well at night as displaying with uh, some electroluminescent coating on or something like that. So it could store power to power itself at night uh, artistically. So you'd look at a building in the in the dark and it could have all kinds of art on it and <laughs> etc so there's a real potential there so i know you're only on the second year but keep at this and you'll make your first million maybe in a few years time with uh, some window blind people you know they ought to be listening on site and, and somebody ought to get snap you up with your idea <laughs> okay thank you very much for that <laughs> <Thank you. clears throat>